Hi guys, this is Gunni. In today's video, we'll be discussing some amazing insights around Excel, which are interactive dashboards. So let's get started. First, let's understand what are dashboards. So a dashboard is a visual representation of a key matrix that allow you to quickly analyze and view your data in one place. Now dashboard, they provide a consolidated data view and a business opportunity where we can filter our data to display according to a certain criteria or a whatever we require, right? And it's very easier to understand new patterns with interactive dashboards. So let's get started. Our first step to creating a dashboard is that we require a clean data set. So it's very important when we import our data set from, uh, from any file or folder, our data is quite unclean. So it's first step, which is very important step is to clean our data set. So for that, we you can refer to my previous video where we discussed uh, tips and tricks around Excel, which in used in data cleaning. So once you have ensured that your data set is clean and it's uh, quite readable, our second step goes by where you format your table. I have already formatted our table, so I'll just show you how you can format your table. So from here, you can select your data, right? And uh, in your home, you can just go by and format as a table. So your second step, which is your format as table can be completed. Now coming to our third step and a very important step is to create a pivot table and a chart. Now. So for that, what we can do is we just go by insert. We have selected our data set and we just insert our pivot table. So this is how a page opens up a new worksheet where you can, we have a pivot table fields and you create a pivot table. So we can create a pivot table. I have already created a lot of pivot tables. So let's go by this one. So this is a sale by buyer, right? So that means that according to the sales, which were there according to our buyer. So what I've done is in my ledge, in my series, I have uh, in my column fields, I have mentioned the chain, which is the fashion direct. When you look at your data set also, in the chain, we have fashion direct and a new look. So two types of chain. So I have included that in my column cells, in my columns, right? And in my rows, in my axis, what I have included, my financial year, that means 2015, 2015 or 16 or 16, 17 and 18, right? And the second column that I have mentioned here is the buyer names, right? Which are these things. These are my buyers, right? So in uh, the data set that is presented here is, it's presented in a way that in my 2015 or 16, these many uh, buyers have uh, this particular total. So in my values, I have included sales. So my data set looks like this. And uh, you can see that it has given me the grand total as well. So this one in the bold one, this is the grand total for the year 2017, 2016 or 17. And for 2017 and 18, uh, every buyer contributes to this much sales. This is the sum of sales and the grand total is this, right? Now, once I have my pivot table ready, what we can do is we can create a pivot chart. So what I'll do is when I select my table, we go to pivot table analyze and we create a pivot chart as I have created over here. So you just click here and you go to area. You, any, you can create a column. You can create a line, you can create a pie chart or a bar chart. So in this one, I have included an area chart, right? And you just click OK. I have already included. So you just click OK. And this is how your table will look like. Now I have also. So in this one, in this table, I have. Let's just wait. So if I select my table and I analyze it. And in my area, I'll just click OK. So you can see this is how my table looks like. But you can see there's a lot of difference in how it is represented, represented and how it came like. So what I did over here is. So what I did over here is. When you select this chart, 
right click on the table and hide all the field buttons as chart right and i've also in, uh, removed these uh, cells so in this manner it looks quite clean and it's also looks quite attractive right so i can just cut it and you can see i have also included a chart title so you can also remove this your axis you can also remove your axis title or you can include it so i haven't included my access title but i have included a chart title which is sale by bio right we can also include data labels but it looks quite messy so i can just exclude it we can also have a data table like this and we can have error bars we can have grid lines or and i have removed them we can have a legend like this or like this right so this is the one the the blue one shows me the fashion direct and the orange one shows me the next look right we can also create it like this also we can change the style as well right so you can uh, whatever in whatever manner you want you can create your chart right so this this uh, pivot table is for sale by buyer now coming to my second pivot table which is sale by manager so in this pivot field what i have included in my columns i have included the chain again fashion direct next look then in my rows i have included state right and my manager so you can see that for every state i have like for example uh, washington so these are the buyers for this state these are the buyers right and in your data also it is included that for whatever manager we have a state right and if i go by state also if i go by i right so you can see for washington i have these many right tom and also by if i go by my chart you can see that for washington i have tom miles and john so this is the data it looks like right same process goes by you create every chart every pivot table so uh, if your sale by manager is uh, table is created again the step goes by you create a pivot chart and this is a bar chart right so i hope this one is clear then i have created a pie chart as well so for pie chart what i have included is in my rows i have included chain and in my uh, values i have included the sum of sales so it's a very simple pie chart i have uh, uh, like two chains fashion direct next look and the sum of the sales so it's a very simple one you can also create pie chart for this one also for sale by manager right it will be very messy one let me just show you so you go to pivot analyze pivot chart and in your pie chart you can see that you have fashion direct right in this manner also you can see that these are the uh, th these displays they are showing us the buyers right so the managers right so you can create pie chart but what this pie chart is quite simple you can also create pie charts of including all those columns that you want to include then we have a sale by category so in this one what i have included chain again in my columns then in my rows i have included the category which is accessories groceries home these are my categories right and according to that whatever the sum of sales is uh, for example for accessories this is the sum of sales right for next look this is the sale and this is the grand total right and according to this table i have included uh, again a bar chart so you can see that this is the category and this one is the uh, the orange shows me the next look the chain name and this one the fa fashion direct right so it's easier it's it's a very easy step you create your uh, pivot table and your chart in every step and you mentioned the uh, the name also this is for sale by chain this is the sale by category this is a pie chart this is a sale by manager so these are my problem statements right now since i have my pie charts ready my charts ready pivot charts ready what i'll do is we uh, our next step is to 
assemble our excel data sheet da uh, dashboard so this is my dashboard looks like right so what i have done is with every step like for my sale by chain what i have done is i just copy it and i have pasted it over here so i have sale by category right i have sale by manager then i have sale by chain and sale by buyer and my pie chart included right now how to make your uh, so i have assembled it in one worksheet and called it a dashboard right but something is missing this part so now in the beginning i told you we will be creating an interactive dashboard right so for the interactive dashboard what we'll do is we will add filters over here so uh when you go by your pivot chart you cannot like for example if you want a certain uh for example for accessories if you want you cannot you have to just look by your right it is not interacting with you so how to make your dashboard interactive is by using slicer right so what is slicer it basically are the filters so what we'll do is so uh, if i select this and if i go to insert so i have a slicer over here so i have for this category this one so now if i click on accessories you can see that it has given me the accessories part so it is interacting with me i am interacting with my dashboard so if i want to see the data for my groceries you can see that this many sales was for the gro groceries right and this one is for home so you can see for next look this one was the data and for this so this is a, applying a filter to your uh pivot table right so this is how it you make it a uh, interactive so i have it for my category and i can also remove the filter using this clear filter right and i can also multi select right for accessories then for the groceries right it is uh for home then for home for hosiery then for intimate so it's now if this is clear then we have for state as well so for this particular state this is my sale by manager right so if i for this particular state this is the manager for this particular state this is the data set right so i hope this part is clear that you apply your uh, for every for example for sale by category i have included slicer so it goes by this you include insert slicers and you can just mention whatever uh, for example in this one i had included category right so i just click okay and my slicer will be there again for state for fin financial year as well i have a date uh, i have a slicer so 2015 in this one only then 2016 then 2017 right so i hope this is clear so in this manner we can create a dashboard an interactive dashboard in just few steps which are first to first ensure that our data set is clean then second step which includes formatting our table then the third step and the very important step is to create pivot tables and naming them uh sheet by sheet like in this way sale by buyer sales by manager pie chart sales by category and then sale by chain we have created a pivot table and a chart individually then our comes uh, fourth step which is to assemble all our pivot charts into one dashboard into one worksheet we just copy paste it and coming to our last and a very important step which is to make our data dashboard interactive we use slicers for every and we can also uh, using when we right click on our uh, slicer and when we go to report connection we can also combine our all our pivot charts and then we click okay right so in this way here also i can just combine it sale by manager and then i click okay so i can make it all my slicers combine them with all my pivot charts right and see and when i go to report here also in this manner we can combine it 
right so when you click on right see in your financial year also when you click it you can see that all of your pivot charts are interacting for 2015 you can see this is the data and for 2016 all all of our pivot charts are interacting right and again for 2018 this is how it's interacting right so i hope creating interactive dash dashboards is clear thanks for watching